Hello friends, this video on human reproduction part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we will start with gametogenesis which we all know is the process of gamete formation. So in case of human beings also the male gamete is formed where? In the testis, where in the testis? In the seminiferous tubules. Similarly, the female gametes, that is the ovum, is formed in the ovary. So how ovary and since, huh, yes, the ovum is formed inside the ovary. So how the egg cell is formed and how the um, sperm is formed, uh, that we will see in the process of gametogenesis. So gametogenesis is the formation of male and female gametes. So in this case, what is male gamete? Male gamete is nothing but sperm and the process of formation of sperm is known as spermatogenesis and the female gamete is egg or ovum and the process of formation of egg or ovum is called oogenesis. So in spermatogenesis, in, in gametogenesis, we will basically talk about these two. First, we will discuss spermatogenesis and then we will discuss oogenesis. So this is how a sperm looks like. So if you look at the structure of sperm, the tail is mostly visible and this is the egg. So what happens? How this egg and sperm are formed? First, we will have to understand that clearly and then we will talk about the fusion of sperm and egg. So let us look at the process of spermatogenesis. So as the name suggests, this is the process by which sperms are produced. Now, while discussing about the male reproductive system, I already told you that sperms are produced inside the testis. And where exactly inside the testis? In the seminiferous tubules of the testis. You remember where, where were the seminiferous tubules? These highly coiled tubules. These are the seminiferous tubules. And inside these tubules, the sperms were produced. Now, from where exactly and how are the sperms? Well, this process of spermatogenesis starts at puberty. It is not that sperms get produced inside the testis of a male since he is born. It is not like that. This process is initiated only when he reaches puberty and that is why that is when he enters into the reproductive phase. Before that, when a person or when a male is in the juvenile phase, sperms are not being produced in his body and that is why it is said that he has not yet entered into the reproductive phase. Now, what different happens at puberty, we will see it very soon. Now, th this process starts with the male germ cells. You remember I told you that the inner lining of the semi, uh, seminiferous tubules is provided, I mean is formed by two types of cells. One is the male germ cell and the other ones are the Sertoli cells, right? So, we will see that the male germ cells play the primary role in the process of spermatogenesis. How? That is what we are going to see now. So, if you look at the cross section of a seminiferous tubule, so this is, I mean, each of these tubule is like a coiled structure like this. It, it is a highly coiled tube-like structure. So, if you take up any small section and you look at the cross section of that tubule, so this is how the cross section would look like. So, this is the cross section of each seminiferous tubules. So, let us quickly look at the various parts of the seminiferous tubule. So now I will not get into too much of detail of the cross-sectional parts but just to make you understand where exactly is the sperm produced you can actually see these structures here head and a tail head and a tail so these structures are nothing but they are the sperms so actually you can see that the sperms are actually produced in the lumen of the seminiferous tubule so it is like a tube so just center of the tube because this is the cross section right so it, at the center of the tube the sperms get produced now what are all the different structures we will see that very soon so before so let us understand the process of spermatogenesis that is how sperm production actually take place inside the seminiferous tubules of testes. Now the story of spermatogenesis starts with the male germ cells which are also known as spermatogonia. Now male germ cells were, are those cells which formed the inner lining of the seminiferous tubules, right? These male germ cells are diploid cells, that is they have 2n chromosomes, that is in human body they have 46 chromosomes. 
right? Now, what happens to these male germ cells? Now, these male germ cells undergo mitosis. Mitosis is what? It is equational division. So, why do they undergo mitosis? Because they want to increase their number. So, the ploidy do not change. So, they form more and more diploid cells, but the number of the cells increases. Now, some of these male germ cells, they differentiate to form some specialized cells and what those specialized cells are known as the primary spermatocytes. So the primary spermatocytes are formed by differentiation of some of the male germ cells. Right? So these prim uh, primary spermatocytes are again deployed because the uh, number of chromosomes will remain the same as they underwent mitosis and not meiosis. But these primary spermatocytes now undergo meiosis that is reductional division. Now, as we all know in meiosis, we have two phases, right? Meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. So, initially it undergoes meiosis 1 and the result of that is secondary spermatocytes which are haploid because in meiosis being reductional division, the chromosome number will reduce to half. So, these secondary spermatocytes will be haploid and how many secondary spermatocytes are formed? two secondary spermatocytes are formed. Now, if you look at this diagram, this is the male germ cell. These male germ cells undergo mitosis and that is how it keeps on increasing in number. But the cells which are being formed as a result of mitosis, some of them differentiate to form primary spermatocytes. So here you can see this is, this orange colored cell represents primary spermatocytes which are, and these are diploid cells. Now, this primary spermatocyte undergo meiosis 1 and as a result of meiosis 1, secondary spermatocytes are formed. So, these are secondary spermatocytes and the secondary spermatocytes are haploid. So, the green cells which you see, they represent secondary spermatocytes. Now, what happens to these secondary spermatocytes? They further undergo the second half of meiosis, that is, they undergo meiosis 2 and they produce total 4 spermatids and these spermatids are also haploid. So, total 4 spermatids are produced. So, these are what? These are spermatids. So, a total of 4 spermatids are produced and the spermatids are also haploid. And then these sper spermatids are then transformed into sperms and sperms are what? Sperms are the male gametes, right? And this process where the spermatids get converted into sperms or they get transformed into sperms, this process is known as spermogenesis. So the entire process of sperm production is called spermatogenesis and this step where the spermatids get transformed into sperms that is called spermiogenesis. Now once the sperms are formed, what happens? Where are the sperms formed? They are formed in the seminiferous tubules. So after this, the sperms are released from the seminiferous tubules. So the sperms are released from the seminiferous tubules. And this release of sperms released from seminiferous tubules. And this release of sperms is known as spermiation. So this is called spermiation. So this step is called spermiogenesis and this release of sperms is called spermiation. And this entire process of sperm formation is known as spermatogenesis. So they are all similar terms, so please remember them and be careful what each of them are. So this is how sperms are produced. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.